Hello and welcome to TDS. My name is Mr. Bright and I'll be your instructor for this project. In this project, we will dive into the cement manufacturing industry. We will be predicting the compressive strength of concrete with as high as 18 plus different algorithms by doing a lot of futurization, model selection and tuning to get the best model. At the end of the project, you will see something like this. We will start by loading the various libraries necessary for this project and then load our data set. We will also be doing some data pre-processing to get our data ready for exploratory data analysis. We will be doing this in the form of a univariate data analysis, a bivariate data analysis, as well as a multivariate data analysis. Then we also plot the pair plot to see the correlation that is existing among the various attributes in our data set. We also use the heat map to confirm this correlation. Then we will spot some outliers with the help of a box plot and then try to remove them or replace them with the median of each column and then compare the before and then the after box plot to see how well we're able to remove these outliers. Then comes the future engineering and model building. So as I said, we're going to build as many as 18 plus different models and then compare their accuracies and see which model is performing better. We are going to do this with the help of different feature engineering techniques such as the K-fold cross-validation and different hyperparameter tuning to get the best accuracy for each model. Starting from random forest, we will build the model together with the K-fold cross-validation and then we keep on adding these accuracies together with the model name so that at the end of this project we can compare the model and then the accuracies and see which one is doing better. So if you can see here, we have several algorithms that we're going to build and together with their cross validation and then see and different hyperparameters of course and then see how well they are going to perform with respect to their accuracies. We keep on adding these accuracies till we get to the final one. A lot of algorithms that we're going to build over here and then keep on adding the accuracies as well. Talking of decision tree, we also spot the maximum depth of this tree that we can also go. Then we keep on adding all these accuracies till we get to the final one. And then after that, we will compare these accuracies and see which one is doing better and then choose that particular model. So as you can see, this is an interesting project and I will be glad to take you through. I'm very sure you will love it. So let's get started.